Hey y'all, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light Tarot here to do your daily blind spot. Um, like I said in previous videos, um, I want to somewhat get through this entire deck. I haven't been pulling out the cards that have been used, but I feel like if we can get through all the cards to kind of learn the lessons or at least prompt us to... To look at these areas that could be blind spots in our lives then I will probably switch um, the daily blind spot to a different daily um, you know Oracle of some sort um, so let's get started what is the daily blind spot for the collective today we just got those two days ago I don't want to repeat them because that doesn't help really anybody unless it's just a, you know needing a reminder but I really want to have a new sigil today as they are called okay I'm not sure if we've gotten this one before it's sigil 21 and this looks very <laughs> scientific I know my logical brain just doesn't tend to see what it's trying to tell us, but maybe by you looking at this sigil, you'll be able to come up with, um, you know, some kind of trigger as to what this means for you. But let's see what the book says. You can see that good. Let me just do it this way. Okay, number 21. isolation I don't think that we've gotten this before but let's see if you have drawn this sigil right now you are isolating yourself and either telling yourself that you aren't or telling you telling yourself that you need to go it alone when you don't you probably have all kinds of very understandable reasons why you are isolating people don't isolate for no reason but this isolation is not benefiting you and it is making the situation at hand impossible. You might be not asking for help, not accepting help, not communicating with others, not including others in your decisions, feeling you need to do things on your own and avoiding people. No matter what the case may be, the situation at hand cannot be solved if you continue doing this. Ask yourself honestly, how and why am I isolating? If you have drawn this sigil, you have to stop isolating yourself, involve other people in you and in the situation at hand. Instead of looking at the world in ways that isolate you, such as how people don't understand you and how you are different from them. Look at the world in ways that connect you, such as how people do understand you and the ways in which you are the same as others. Okay, so I definitely can resonate with that. So let's see what spirit message comes through in regard to isolation. Spirit, what do you have for the collective in regard to isolation? And we have light. It says, imagine yourself as a being composed of energy and light, because in reality, that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are. And I feel like this is a call from spirit to share that light and not isolate yourself, right? So let's see what the story is here. How is this playing out for the collective? How is this playing out for the collective here? Okay, we have the sun, more light, right? This is talking about, you know, you being a shining light to yourself and to others. It says, life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. Beautiful card, the most positive card in the deck, as they say. Number 19, so that can break down to a 10 or a 1. So 
this could be about ending that cycle of isolation or it could be well either way whether it's a 10 or a 1 it's about ending a cycle and beginning a new way of thinking a new cycle a new approach all right what else do we have And we have the Six of Raphael, which is the Six of Cups. And it says, embrace your inner child, new friends, and rekindled relationships, children, or childhood. So the sun also, for me, does represent children. So there could be, you know, some isolation. Uh, maybe you're isolating your kids from others, or maybe you're isolating yourself from your children. And I feel like Spirit is really calling you to engage in your children or others children to really embrace that inner child in yourself and I think you're going to feel more connected um, to others by engaging with children as far as you know just they have this totally different perspective on life and that can really be eye-opening for a lot of us okay what else do we have five of Gabriel which is the five of wands and this can be about kind of you know someone that you're on the same team with you're competing with right so it says a challenge you can resolve withdraw from the drama of others have patience with yourself and those around you so there could be competition there could be just conflict within your family unit um, whatever it is that can really trigger you to isolate yourself but spirit is saying it's a challenge that can be resolved and you can um, you know withdraw from the drama it says but doesn't mean withdraw from them entirely these you know are people that you love and care for anything else in regard to isolation and we have the six of Michael, which is the six of swords. So really talking about it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Here we have the light again. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, a relocation or travel. But this is really saying that, you know, with the sun coming in here, that now that you're aware that you may be isolating yourself, this is where you're going to get some clarity. The sun is bringing clarity and you're going to move on to a you know to calmer waters as they say so let's get some details here let's go deeper spirit why is the sun here in regard to isolation could be just you need to get out and be in the sun and not uh hole up in your house under the ac for those of you in the northern hemisphere you know with the uh summertime here let's see or in the southern hemisphere you know you may need some sun you may need to find a way to you know even if it's cold and wintry outside if there's sun somewhere find your way there okay so why is the sun here we have the chariot and we have the king of swords so i feel like there's almost like I really get this like you know you can isolate yourself by being in the offense mode right like really aggressive or you know just not allowing things to be peaceful going forward quickly without um, allowing others to speak not giving people the opportunity to be gentle and kind to you if you're isolating yourself because it and it all comes from fear so i feel like you know it the sun is coming out in order to shed light on those things that you are operating in fear about so why is the six of raphael or the six of cups here in regard to isolation and we have the wizard which is the magician here and the five of swords so what I feel like is that there is this soulmate relationship that we could be talking about with the six of cups and I feel like you really manifested um, this into your life but it also you are 
uh, with your isolation, you are manifesting conflict. Whether you choose to engage in it and, or not, you are manifesting this conflict. You are creating, if you see this in the background, you're creating a storm in a sense. But the sun is coming out, so you're definitely going to move on from this. So why is the Five of Wands here? Five of Gabriel. What is this challenge we're talking about? We have the Seven of Cups. And we have the Four of Cups. And, you know, isolation definitely goes hand in hand with the Four of Cups, that, that withdrawal, that not seeing the love that's around you. Um, the Seven of Cups can really uh, be about um, allowing, you know, an illusion to take over you, right? So, you know, seven and four is 11, 11 cups, right? Or breaks down to two of cups. So this, this conflict, this um, challenge is definitely between, I feel like it's really between two people or a partnership. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, a love relationship. This could be you know, roommates, or this could be, you know, within your adult children and you, or something like that. So let's see why the Six of Michael, or the Six of Swords, is here in regard to isolation for the collective. And we have the sun, again, the sun really coming through here. It is Leo season. I feel like this is Archangel Uriel really um, coming through in order to um, bring that illumination over this illusion and this isolation that has been happening. All right, so we also get the Queen of Swords. So this is about, you know, changing your perspe perspective, bringing a positive light. The Queen of Swords, she can be fair and just, but she is... Um, you know, less likely to be emotional in her decisions. So you're really getting to a place where um, logic will serve you, but don't allow yourself to be overtaken by logic. I mean, yes, you need to include logic in with your intuition. The Queen of Swords does have intuition. In fact, all the Queens do. They all have water, right? Um, just like all the Kings have fire, all of the um, queens ha have uh, water, all the knights have air, and all of the pages have earth. So I don't know if that's just been upon my um, learning of the tarot. So I do see this um, divine relationship here with the king of swords and the queen of swords. So this could definitely be you know, a long-standing relationship. It could be something where you've been with them for a very long time. You have children or you've been together since you were basically, you know, young and children yourself. So I feel like that is the message that Spirit is bringing forth is not isolating yourself or learning how to, you know, recognize when you are isolating yourself and creating which is creating conflict even though you're trying you may be trying to step back in order to prevent conflict but you are causing conflict and I think it's very hard to see that when you are like you know what I'm just going to stay away from this person for a time or I'm not going to speak to them, then we won't have conflict. And little do you know that your vibration is literally causing that conflict, okay? Sorry for the jets that are flying over. I'll give a pause because they happen, usually it's like four or five of them at once. Yep, here comes another one. These fighter jets that take off from the airport near my house. Sorry about that. All right, so what guidance do we have? Let me see what do I want to pull here. Let me get some different cards. Um, let's do work your light. Let's see what work your light has to say. 
Okay. Spirit, what guidance do we have for the collective in regard to isolation? Spirit, show me clearly. And we have Imrama, where are you being called to journey to? So maybe there is, you know, some type of either travel in store or that would help you. Or maybe this is part of your soul journey. Where are you being called to journey to? And this is really, you know, can be talking about, you know, stepping foot outside. Like I said, I know how it is it, when it's hot or when it's really cold. Nobody wants to go outside and you really can, this really can affect your chakras, your soul. Um, if you don't get that sunlight, if you don't get out in, in the air, right? That's really taking the isolation term literally, you know, but, um, I do see that for many. All right. The crumbling. What are you clinging on to? So this is like the tower. And this is about like what are you, what needs to be released? What are you holding on to? When you isolate yourself, are you, you know, freezing in or locking in some things that really need to be released, right? And we also have awakening energetic upgrades a new way of being integration so the opposite of isolation i would think is integration so i really feel spirit is here saying you know you need that um, camaraderie you need to um you know have that uh co-creation with others that um the three of pentacles or three of cups energy where you're sharing your soul journey with others and that's going to you know fortify you and i do see with this awakening you see the moon here we are about to have the new moon um in leo so um you know this is a time for really setting your intentions and sowing those seeds that you want to manifest by the full moon if that's what you believe so if you are interested in the um, astrology that's behind all of that, um, I'm no astrologist, but I do follow very closely um, a dear friend of mine, Divine Debut 11. Um, I, I say a dear friend. I am just a, um avid fan more than anything, but I really... Um, like the way that she puts things it's it's very um you can tell that she has a lot of knowledge about astrology but she just makes it so accessible and easy to understand the way that she relates it to tarot and to you know your astrological signs so i really encourage um if you would like to um explore the astrology side of these messages um she has a lot of really great information and her channel is is um one of my faves so that is the message that came through for you all and i thank you so much for watching you know i love you and appreciate you for it and remember that the universe has your back and so do i take care <music>